Hello, I'm going to recap uh, the episode of Chicago Fire that aired September 23rd. This is the premiere of season 3 that picked up where the last season left off of the huge cliffhanger of where the entire crew at Firehouse 51 entered into a building, then an explosion went off, and we didn't know what happened or if anyone made it out. We learn at the very beginning of this episode that Leslie Shea was the one who did not make it out. We knew someone wasn't going to make it. We were all praying that it wasn't any of the main characters who recently got engaged. Um, however, uh, we had to let Leslie go. You know, when you think about which characters' storylines were at an end or which ones they could have let go, uh, Shay's was always really um, contingent upon other people's storylines, and so whatever uh, her co-workers were involved in, she was involved in. What I thought was really clever was they did a jump uh, after the building explosion uh, six months later after Shay's death, which allowed them to skip the whole grieving process, the funeral, and anything in the hospital, any of that drama. So we got right to the um, aftermath and the reactions and how Firehouse 51 is recovering after this. So other than Shay, uh, Peter Mills got his leg crushed, but six months later he has been rehabilitated and he is back at the firehouse on squad. Um, however, Severide has not returned. He was not hurt. He was just in complete grief and um, no one has heard from him at the beginning of the episode. Uh, the other person who's having a severe reaction is of course her partner Dawson. Gabby is just not dealing with what happened six months after the fact, and she's not moving on with Casey. She hasn't really said anything in response to his proposal yet. Um, and when she's, you know, she kind of gets kind of freaked out at the beginning, and she's like, Casey, ask me again, because this time I'll say yes. And Casey's like, whoa, 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 let's not make any rash decisions. I want to do this right. So Casey is actually doing his best to be there for both Severide and Gabby. After losing his temper with some of the jerks from the other firehouse, uh, that's the firehouse that Gabby was supposed to be transferred to. So the chief kind of talked to him and was like, hey, I need you to be a leader right now. And so Casey takes this opportunity to go find Severide and bring him back. So he finds Kelly chopping logs outside a log cabin, uh, nice lake view, and he's just so out of civilization, out of Chicago City, and he's like, I can't deal with that right now, so I think I'm just gonna stay here and stay secluded, not deal with it. But then Casey pulls out the big guns. He pulls out a big book with all of their uh, rescues and their fires that they have fought, and in the margins, the chief wrote how many lives they've saved. And Casey said, it's not about how many people we lost in the line of duty, it's how many people that we get to save every single day. And this really gets to Kelly because at the end, he comes back on his lovely motorcycle and he has Casey help him move Shay's things out of the apartment. And of course, he is super emotional. Um, throughout the entire episode, there are flashbacks of Shay meeting the guys, meeting Dawson, uh, becoming best friends with Severide, and then making their uh, roommate contract on DVD, which he watches at the very end. And, you know, Shay says in the video, uh, we'll always be there for each other. He actually starts crying, which is when I start crying. So the rest of the firehouse is also dealing with this. Um, Chief Bowden has been having a hard time becoming social. He's been going on double dates with Mouch and his new girlfriend, Trudy. Um, and he's got a baby on the way. So his new wife is really trying to help him get out. Um, and it works by the end of the episode. So Peter Mills is also looking to uh, find information about his father, and so he asks the new guy, Newhouse, to help him because he's a PI and he can get that kind of information. And he comes back with a packet of his father's uh, side of the family. He's got a family tree there. And so Peter Mills is going to be exploring a lot of that history, because we know that there's history between him and... Um, Chief Bowden and Severide's dad also. Um, some of the other guys in the firehouse are dealing with uh, the death in more like a philosophical sense. Like Herman starts thinking that maybe he wants to expand the bar. He never really thought about expanding Molly's before because he always thought he had time. And now this whole tragedy is making him realize that, you know, you gotta 
do what you want now and not waste a second because life is just precious like that. And um, some of the other guys want to get involved too now. Mouch and crew want to sign up for the Molly's expansion. If that's going to happen this season, that's going to be really cool. New paramedic, that's Sylvia, I believe. And she is a runaway bride who uh, just came to Chicago to try to make a new start. So we got a new blonde girl, a new face in the firehouse, a new story to explore. So the last main thing is Dawson in therapy. Now... She's been going to therapy for uh, five weeks and just sat there and not said anything. Not really talking to Casey that much. She's internalizing this uh, guilt that she feels over Shay's death. Um, and so finally, at the very end of the episode, when she's in therapy, she starts crying and admits that the reason that she's been feeling so bad and the reason that she can't get over this is because... When they were uh, resuscitating a victim in the uh, house that exploded, she was trying to get Shay to, you know, take the leadership role because she's going to be the new uh, paramedic in charge once Dawson becomes a firefighter. And so they switched places, and that's when the beam came down and hit her. Dawson's dealing with the fact that she thinks that it was her fault, which is never a good thing when somebody dies to have survivor's guilt. Next week, she's going to try to move on and try to pursue her future with Casey. Um, also next week, Peter Mills is going to get into a bit of a sticky situation that's going to cause everybody to reflect on what happened this episode. And, you know, we already lost one. We just can't lose another. So we have that to look forward to next week. But for now, we will salute paramedic Leslie Shea. You will always be a part of Firehouse 51.